So some of these can be worth 50, 60 bucks, and I can pick these up quite regularly, pretty much almost anywhere that you source at these days. Thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, those are key places to find these valuable items at right now. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something that I do pick up routinely, and I do mean routinely. Today we're going to talk about cross-stitch items, and what this piece here is, is some fabric, and this is a fairly expensive brand, or at least better than most, Charles Craft. In this, you can see the numbering system on there. You can see what type it is. Now, this is an NOS one. It has not been used. It's missing the cap, but still, it is all there. It's untouched. It's ready to go. It doesn't matter if this is smashed or crunched or anything else like that. It's fabric. It's not going to hurt it. So usually I can get these for about a dollar or so, $2 at the very, very most when they look like this. Sometimes I've purchased bunches of these all together. Sometimes even ones that have been half done, where someone who has stitched half of it can still sell for some phenomenal money, especially if the stitching is done very nicely. Now, there are tons of kits for these as well. If you don't know what cross-stitching is, that would mean that you'd get the fabric, the pattern, and the thread, the floss, to actually complete the actual design. Some of those can sell for five, six hundred, even over a thousand dollars. Now today there's programs, computer programs that you can take a picture and convert it into a cross stitch pattern. And it usually uses DMC thread numbers and the whole works. DMC thread is one of the most popular brands of thread that you would use to stitch a cross stitch. Um, we're gonna look at some in just a few minutes here just to give you some ideas. But this dollar purchase here should get me easily 30 bucks plus most of the time, depending on the count. Now you'll see this is an 18 count. Let's see where it says it's an 18 count. And that count is basically how many holes or how many spots you can stitch in as a cross stitch in a certain amount of space. You'll see them at 14 count, 16 count, 18 count, 22, 24 count. Sometimes the fabric, the type of fabric that is, or the color of the fabric it is, can be worth more than other ones. Mushroom Laguna used to be one of the more expensive ones. It's a color as well as the type of fabric it is. Mushroom is the color, Laguna is the type of fabric. Um, this is a Ada cloth, A-I-D-A, -A, and that's one of the more common ones. 18 count is fairly common as well. If you get a pattern to do a cross stitch, it'll tell you the count that you need. Now, in those cases, you need to buy the right type of fabric. An 18 count pattern, you'd want 18 count fabric. If you don't have the right uh, count of fabric, the design won't look right. It might be really small or something weird like that. So let's go look at some just to give you an idea on the horrendous amount of value in these sorts of things, as well as some of the best places to find them overall. So we're in Terra Peak right now, and I've just typed in cross stitch fabric that's all i've got typed in here and you're going to see right off the bat some very horrendously high price now here's a thomas kincaid beauty and the beast 2 and this one went for fifteen hundred dollars plus shipping believe it or not now that is one of the highest price ones i have seen out there right this very second there are a few other ones that go in the same price range as you see right here eagles domain it's another one some of these are done by designers specific people now here is one by Thomas Kincaid, and this is for the original Beauty and the Beast, and this is Falling in Love. Now unfortunately, the person didn't put Thomas Kincaid in the title. They would have probably done far better had they done that, but it's still a nice sale on these. So this kit here has pretty much everything you need in it to create this in cross stitch, just as you see it here. It's got the thread, it's got the fabric, and it's got the pattern in it. We'll go through, see if they show you the interior of it. Uh, here is the thread. It's got all the numbers. It tells you where it goes and the whole works on it. So it's basically a paint by number kit for doing the actual design of Beauty and the Beast. It's 18 count, as I said. That is one of the most common ones. Decorative thread needle comes with it. They technically call the, the thread you stitch with cotton floss. It's only designed for this purpose. But the, again, this is a complete kit. If for some reason you run out of something, it has the number for the corresponding thread. So you can go to a store and buy it yourself. You can see the fabric in the background as well. 
This is a very pricey one because they didn't make a ton of these. But most of the time when I run into stuff like this, most people don't assume it's worth much money, especially if someone started it or some of it's missing or something like that. If you have the packaging and all the original stuff that goes with it, whether it's open or not, it will still sell for some pretty darn good, decent money. Now, this is counted cross-stitch. Again, it's basically the exact same thing. Um, but when it says 18 count, you're counting to see where you put the X to do the design and all that kind of stuff in here. You can see the prices are a little bit different. Sometimes people will do them in grab bags like the top few here. Sometimes they'll put some together from the very same artists. Artists create their own designs. Flapper ones are very popular. Art deco images. Things that are in public domain are actually put into patterns and created at people's houses right now. You go to Etsy or on eBay, you will find tons of these for sale. You will find people that design them, as I said, using that program. And that program spits out a list of all the DMC colors that you would use for that pattern as well as the numbering system so you can go in and stitch it. It's basically a paint by number kind of thing. But these days, anybody can do that if you've got a little bit of extra money to invest in the software. There are some printing tools you can buy as well to do an entire business these days from your house setting up stuff like this. Some of the folks that are producing them right now are making a lot of money doing that because they're highly collectible. So this is just to give you an idea at the vast amount. Louisa May Alcott's classic Little Women counted cross-stitch kit sealed rare, 250 bucks. If you're not paying attention to this kind of thing, you're really missing out because they're horrendously well collected. They're horrendously well sought after as well. I've seen them for pretty much anything you can imagine. There's a dollar bill one that somebody created that routinely sells for good money, and that is just for the booklet, the instructions, and does not include any of the fabric at all or the thread floss. So this is a huge area. Anytime you find one from a name brand or anything interesting like that, I would always recommend looking it up. Here's a Mario Brothers right here. It's a kit to do Mario himself. You will find them for all sorts of things, including sports teams, political figures, flags, currency, you name it. You can probably find it in a counted cross-stitch kit or at least the instructional booklet to make your own. Now, sometimes people will buy a bolt of fabric. Some people who are in business to do this will buy it in huge sheets, huge bolts of it, maybe 10 yards straight by, say, three, six yards, and they'll cut it up into specific sizes and make a lot. So they'll only have to create one single listing, and they can sell it in any size or dimension that someone wants. They can get a whole bunch cut up from that. There's actually a software program that will set this up so you know exactly where to cut to get the most amount of usable material out of a bolt of fabric like this. Any of this stuff is available that way. You can buy it wholesale as well, make up your own kits even if you'd like, and then sell it that way. There's some huge potential if you're at least somewhat into crafting and know at least a little bit of knowledge in the cross-stitch area. Now this doesn't just go for cross-stitch, knitting and things like that. Some of the pattern books can sell for some phenomenal money. There's people out there that create their own patterns and then market those as well. Everybody's going to need the fabric, so the fabric, the threads, everything about this hobby sells for some pretty darn good money. Now, here's the type of stuff you'll find at thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, church sales. All the places you're going right now, these sorts of things show up. It doesn't look like much is the big key here. It's crinkled up. It looks like it's been opened. Nothing spectacular. It's not a super, super spectacular image. It's still valuable. It's still collectible. You can see it has all the thread. It's got the little cards so you can wrap the thread around it so you can sort them all out here in the whole works. Everything is here to actually create it. There's the color code sheets, and the pattern is in here as well. So anything you need to do to create this is included in the kit. It has 31 bids, 225 bucks, and still they had to pay 875 for shipping. It does say it's open. It has the original packaging, though. This is a pretty darn good price for something that is still found right this very second out at a thrift store, garage sale, flea market. Wherever you possibly go, these can turn up. Now, here's an example on the thread, the floss itself. DMC, as I said, is one of the most popular. This has 1,680 embroidery thread floss skeins. The skein is the actual packet of thread. 
kind of like a skein of yarn for knitting. It's the same exact principle. You can see how they come. There are many colors of the same one. This one actually looks like it probably came from a defunct store or a business going under. You see a lot of this. There aren't as many people that do it, but they're still highly sought after. There's still quite a bit of people that search these out and do cross-stitching. This assortment went for 640 bucks. Now here's just one more. These are vintage. It doesn't matter if they're new or old. The number system has been around for 40, 50 years plus. That's still valid. It's still usable. There's nothing wrong with selling or buying and using these vintage threads. So don't let the age or anything else like that deter you from purchasing this. This still went for almost $500. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Come on, come on, come on and taste the fancy way. Come on, come on, come on.